down your wands and pick up your knife and fork. It's time for another UD Foodie Review. All right, Connor and I are here for once. Connor's here. We're going to go check out. Uh, we're here. We're in Universal Orlando. We're going to check out Ben the Bow. Uh, this is a new joint. It used to be where the, it is where the uh, sushi bar used to be here in Universal. Second floor in City Walk. So, hey, we're going to try these out. Let you know what we think. All right, here's what we have to pick from here so far. Uh, let's see here, two for $11.99, add additional for $4.49. We're gonna be getting three of them. We're going with the kimchi, the duck, the beef brisket, and the pork belly, I think. I think that's all of them. Uh, I think Connor's getting the crab cake also, right? Okay, so Connor's getting the duck, kimchi, and what? Uh, the, 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 the beef, okay. Okay, all right, so, all right, quick and easy, hopefully give you a little bit of an idea of where we're at so that is city walk where everyone's coming in through the parking garage and yeah for there's an elevator down there that we use to come up there's also steps if you go around to the far side over by where you would see oh, on your way up to voodoo donuts if you know where that's at you can take those steps up and let's see here they actually you can watch them make these things through the glass let's see if i can get you a look at that Easy. We'll see how they taste. See you in a minute. And just so I don't forget, they do have an annual pass holder discount here, as in most places I found within Universal. All right, here's what we're looking at. So we have the duck. Uh, this is the kimchi right here. This is the chicken, and this is the beef. That's right. The beef, beef was the kimchi, wasn't it? No, uh, chicken was the kimchi. Okay, so, really? Yeah, so uh, this is the chicken, this is the duck, I think this is the pork belly. Oh, you're that, right, that pork belly, you're right. No, that's, that's this right. This is brisket then. Okay, yeah. brisket, pork belly, duck, and the kimchi with chicken. All right, all right, Connor just wants to eat, but I gotta get one more picture of this. Okay, as Connor's finishing up, I'm gonna give you my review of uh, from best to worst. And worst doesn't mean horrible, it's not worth eating. It just means, to me, the worst of the three that I bought. So I started off with the chicken kimchi, and that was number one. That was the best of the three things that I bought. Uh, it has a little bit of a bite to it. It's got like a sriracha kind of sauce on it. I was gonna say mayonnaise, but it's really, Thinner than what a mayonnaise sauce would end up being. Look an aioli. Yeah, kind of an aioli. So definitely sriracha though in it. That though was not hot. It tasted really good. That was, had all kinds of flavors in it. Let's put it that way. Next I ate the uh, brisket and the brisket was good. It was actually pretty good. I would, I would order that one again. Um, I enjoyed that quite a bit. Um, that would place second on my list. Sorry, I had to pick up a a uh, napkin uh, and third was the pork belly and the pork belly was tasteless I would not order it again uh, nothing that I can really say about the pork belly that stood out uh, where with the with the chicken and the uh, kimchi the chicken and the, brisket. and the brisket yeah I could taste the chicken I could taste the beef in the brisket with the pork belly it was tasteless and the slaw that was with it, there was really nothing there to talk about. So that one I would not get again. And Connor, you also got the, well, place yours from first to last. So definitely chicken first. That chicken was delicious. It had yeah, a whole lot of different flavors in it. it had some cucumber, had a yeah, really good kind of aioli on it. Um, second would be the brisket, um, which I actually really liked. It had a nice barbecue flavor to it. it had a few different things, it had some jalapenos in there. Um, and then last I got the duck, which um, it had a good flavor as far as the duck went, but you really couldn't taste much besides the duck. It didn't really have anything else with it. So I would put that third. 
Okay, and the total price for these six bowels was uh, $28. That was with the $3 uh, annual pass discount. So if you don't have that, you're looking at about $31. Um, do I think it's worth $31? I think it's a little pricey. Yeah, it's a little pricey, but it's something to try here and there. I would definitely, I would come back again. Yeah, I think I'll try it again. I think it's really good for what you pay, but I do think it's a little bit. Yeah, pricey. it's a pricey snack. It's kind of what we're talking about here. So, anyway, I yeah, my recommendation would be to come and try it out, and see what you think. Everything was fresh, uh, made right there in front of you. So uh, I definitely could not strike him down for that one. All right, guys, that's it from Universal Orlando. It's called the Bend Bow. Bend the bow. Bend the bow. Okay. <laughs> Bend the bow. Bend the bow. Okay. Anyway. And that's what they do. It's true. I never thought about it. It's kind of like a taco. It's wrapped around it instead of uh, being inside the bow. Some of the bow buns, the ingredients are stuffed inside of them and baked. So this one is just bent around it. Nah. There we go. All right. We worked that out. All right. Enough of my nonsense. Get over here. Give it a try if you're in the park. Just let me know what you think. And we'll see you later. Bye.